The quality of your life comes down to your daily rituals and what you do on a daily basis. That's going to determine your successes or your failures. The same thing applies to your relationships. Today I want to give you five things that you absolutely need to be doing with your partner on a daily basis. Welcome back to another episode of Holistic Lifestyle Coaching with Ryan David. I'm Ryan David. And today I want to give you five things that every couple should be doing daily. Now, as I said in the intro, these are things that they're small things, but they're powerful things. And you need to do them on a daily basis to help keep the relationship fulfilling. And more importantly than just fulfilling, or I should say when I say fulfilling, what I'm talking about is to meet your partner's needs. And on that note, I want to preface these five things I give you with a little bit of background information about an area of psychology, specifically human needs psychology. And I want to introduce to you the concept of human needs and I want to give you what those six human needs are. So the area of uh, human needs psychology focuses on six human needs and I'm probably going to do another episode and break down each and every one of these needs, maybe do an episode on each one of them. They're so critical. But let me give you what those six are. So when I refer to them as I'm talking about the five things that I mentioned you should do on a daily basis with your partner, you kind of have a reference point for them. So the six human needs, according to human needs psychology, are certainty, uncertainty, significance, love and connection. They're the same thing. Tony Robbins says that most people are too scared of love, so they settle for a connection. Those are the top four. He considers those to be the needs of the personality. The last two, growth, and contribution he considers to be the needs of the, the human spirit. So just again, certainty, uncertainty, significance, love and connection, growth, contribution. Those are the six human needs. I'm going to refer to those in relationship to the five things that I suggest you do with your partner. And the way I'm going to refer to them is I'm going to point out how, how each of these five things will satisfy or meet one of those six human needs that we all have and that your partner has. So just to kind of see how if you do all these five things, you'll be meeting a lot of those core needs of the personality, certainty, uncertainty, significance, love, and connection. So I'll reference those to show you how not only is this an important thing to do with your partner, but it meets certain needs on a daily basis, which can then obviously lead to growth of the relationship and a stronger connection and bond and a more fulfilling relationship overall. So let's get into what those five things are that you should be doing with your partner on a daily basis. Number one, kiss. Yes, kiss on a daily basis. And I don't mean just a pop kiss when you leave for work. You can do that too, but take a minute, take a moment, and actually share a passionate kiss, an intentional passionate kiss with your partner. Nothing says I love you like that physical connection and that passionate kiss that you can share with your partner. So yes, on a daily basis, make an effort, take 20 seconds, pull them aside, and just give them a passionate kiss on a regular basis. What needs will this meet? Well, it obviously meets the need of connection because there's really not much of a stronger connection than a strong, physical, intimate act with your partner. So you really feel connected and you can, you can establish a sense of connection. You're meeting that need for your partner and their need to connect, but also significance. You really make them relevant and they feel significance if, significance if you're directing your energy into giving them a long, passionate kiss. So you knock two needs out right there by just doing something that is pretty pleasurable, I might add giving them a passionate kiss once a day. It's quick, simple to do, easy, and it's free. Number two, the second most important thing that you need to be doing on a daily basis is communicate with your partner. Now, when you're communicating with your partner, your intention is to send them a message or uh, relay information to them about yourself. Communicate with them. Let them know where you are. Let them know where you stand. Communicate with them what your needs are. Communicate with them what's going on with you, but reach out and communicate to them. If both people in the relationship take some time each day to communicate with each other, that'll alleviate any misunderstandings because now both parties kind of know and understand what's going on and where we are on a daily basis in terms of our own personal lives. But it requires you to open up and share that information with your partner. So if each person's taking time to connect and share with the other, um, that alleviates, like I say, that misunderstanding, a potential possibility for those misunderstandings. What needs does this meet? What human needs does this meet or satisfy? Well, it definitely meets the need of connection because you're connecting with your partner by sharing this information with each other. Significant, you feel significant when somebody's sharing valuable information with you of all people. So connection, significance, but also certainty. It gives you a sense of certainty in knowing 
And that's what we want to do. Certainty is absolutely knowing something for sure. It gives you a sense of certainty in knowing what's going on with your partner, uh, knowing a little bit more information. The more we can know, the more certain we feel. So it gives you and it satisfies that need of, for certainty in your partner to kind of want to know where you are, where you stand and what you're going through, how you feel. And all three of those combined just from communicating, which, and by the way, you already know if you've seen in previous videos, you won't, you'll know where I stand as far as communication. Communication is one of the two absolute prerequisites for uh, a really healthy, fulfilling relationship. You take communication out of any relationship and it's gonna die uh, or not be fulfilling. You can stay in a relationship, but it's not gonna be healthy, it's not gonna be fulfilling. So you gotta have communication and you gotta have respect. But in this situation, if you just communicate on a daily basis about what you're going through, what's going on, that can be huge. You obviously feel a connection, a sense of connection if both people are sharing information to understand each other. Um, you feel significant because you're the one that they're sharing it with and you also feel more certain about your partner and about where you stand and who you are to your partner. Uh, and them sharing information with you like that. Number three, third most important thing and something you should do on a daily basis is connect with your partner. Connect is kind of not the opposite, but the counterpart to communicate. Communicate, you're trying to send message their way and share information with them. Connection is you taking an active role and trying to actively connect with your partner and elicit information with them. Take some time to be present, connect with them, get in tune with them, whether it be intellectually, spiritually, physically, whatever it is, but take some time to allocate and dedicate just to them and who they are and really connect with your partner um, on some sort of wavelength and, and try to open up a channel or a line of communication possibly or just an avenue for you to connect with them and really be present so that uh, you can, so that, so that they have the opportunity to open up to you and they know that you're there. And you can do this in a number of ways. You can do this via touch, just uh, holding their hand or proximity, sitting close to them, uh, intellectual conversation. Like I say, there's a number of ways you can do this, but what this does is it lets your partner know that you're interested, you're curious, and you're there for them, and you're really interested in what's going on with them on a daily basis. Take some time to connect. What needs is it satisfied? Once again, absolutely satisfies the needs that that person has and feeling significant, that they matter, they're important and also connection. Number four, something else that you need to be doing on the base, I should say couples need to be doing because it's not just you, this is something that's important for both people in a relationship to do, but you can't control what they do, so lead by example. Number four, what you should do on a daily basis with your partner, compliment, compliment. Absolutely compliment your partner once a day, and this is, shouldn't be very difficult. It doesn't have to be astronomical, it doesn't have to be mind-blowing, but something positive their way about who they are, what they are, what they've done, what you appreciate about them, something that's personal, specific to them and unique, compliments. Compliments go a long way. We all love compliments, but compliments mean so much more when they come from the people that we care about most. You can get a compliment from someone off the street and it's important, it feels good, but when you get it from somebody that you love, someone's opinion that you value, it really means that much more. So take a minute to just send some positive energy and compliment your partner could be on something very small, could be on something major. Maybe they did a really, really excellent job on a project at work and you just admire them, you're so proud of them. Or maybe it was something small, how they, you know, point out how they take the time with the kids or, you know, they're really thoughtful with strangers. Whatever the case is, something small that you point out doesn't have to be much, but make an effort to compliment your partner. These things really can go a long way. It's the little things, by the way. It's the small things in relationships that really mean the most. And taking time to compliment your partner is positive but it also shows action and, and, and effort and intention and, and making sure that they matter. So, you know, what needs does it satisfy? Well, one, variety. It gives them some variety because when you compliment them and they don't expect it, it's, a, it's some unknown and it's kind of like spontaneous. So um, that gives them a sense of variety and, and some, some kind of, it changes things up a little bit. And we all have that same need. That, that need for variety is the counterpart to that need for certainty. We all want to know exactly what to do, what to expect, what to have. We want certainty. But if we knew exactly what to have, what was gonna happen next and everything else, we'd get bored. So we also need variety to kind of balance that out. So compliments can be a great way to spice things up, catch somebody off guard in a positive way uh, and really make them feel positive and feel, feel good. So that uh, complimenting them on a regular basis can, can satisfy that need for variety, but also significance as well. Once again, make them feel relevant and feel important and feel like they matter. And number five, the fifth thing that you should be doing on a daily basis with your partner is laugh. Laugh once a day. I don't care how you do it, but share a laugh with your partner once a day. It could be something online, something on the internet, something, a memory that you tell, a funny joke, a, 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 a story that you're talking about. I don't care how you do it. Take some time to really just share a laugh. It can be a 20 second laugh or, you know, 15 minute, hour long session that you have. Sounds like a good time actually, but whatever you do, just make it a point to share a laugh with your partner every single day 
Um, what needs get satisfied from, from laughing? Well, there's actually some biochemistry that can take place. When we laugh, endorphins are released, oxytocin can be released, and that's the bonding chemical. So it's not just a matter of a good memory or a good experience with your partner. Literally, your biochemistry changes and feel-good hormones are released in both of your body. And that can associate, that, that, that situation, that experience can lead to uh, associations of you know, a conditioning where your partner, you associate your partner with feel good hormones and chemicals and it really just overall, not to break it down and get too complicated, but it's really, really a good um, experience to share with your partner on a regular everyday basis because you start to condition, like I say, and associate you know, your partner and spending time with them with these feel good emotions and feel good hormones and um, the conditioning can be strong in a positive way. Share a laugh on an everyday basis. Um, I really recommend that. And what human needs are being satisfied by sharing a laugh with your partner? Well, we got variety. We never know what's going to be funny and why it's funny. And, you know, so variety is obviously uh, going to be met. That need for variety is going to be met. Certainty as well. The certainty of sharing that laugh with that partner, right? And we know what humor is. We know what that is as well. And then naturally connection. You're connecting with your partner too. So uh, those are the five things I recommend you do on a daily basis with your partner. Again, the hallmark of a successful relationship comes down to what you do on a regular everyday basis. And we want to be doing things that create positive energy, that create a stronger connection. We want to do things that meet each other's human needs and satisfy each other on a, on a core level. And these human needs I speak of are universal. We all have these, you know, every human has these basic needs. And so if we can connect with our partners in a way that, you know, conditions us to have a positive, healthy relationship because of our rituals, but also at the same time meets and fulfills their basic human needs uh, in a way that they're not even aware of, you really set the stage for a fulfilling, healthy, long-term relationship. And you can do this just from five simple things that you do each and every day. I hope you apply these things and I hope they really kind of help you take your relationship to the next level. Remember, you gotta do it on a daily basis. Don't just do it once or for a week and think they're gonna resonate. Make them an everyday ritual. Make them a habit and a routine and a part of your relationship. I also hope you found the, the concept of meeting human needs beneficial as well. And look out for my a future video. I do a couple episodes probably on human needs to break those down even further so you know exactly really how you can meet your own and maybe how you're already meeting your own human needs and meet your partners as well. Um, if you liked that, if you found it uh, informative, give me a thumbs up. So keep those things in mind. Just to recap, kiss, communicate, connect, compliment, and laugh with your partner on a daily basis. For a more detailed breakdown on these five things, check out my blog post on mindbodygreen.com. They picked up my blog and they posted it. It was really cool. I'll drop a link to that in the description below. Feel free to check that one out. Definitely share that one. Like I say, give me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for the next episode. And until then, take care.